This is Damon L. Jacobs at Love Out Loud with Tom Degnan of One Life to Live, formerly as The World Turns. How are yes. you tonight? I'm doing great, Damon. How are you doing? It's great. We're so glad to have you here at this event. And I know you often show up for events that help people and promote charitable organizations and things Abs like that. Absolutely. I think it's an event such as this, it's important to show up and support. Yeah. A lot of people I've talked to um, when I do work as outreach for HIV vaccine trials think that that HIV, that AIDS thing is just over, it's in the past, we don't need to worry about this. What might you say to someone, a young person, who believes that? What would one say? I yeah. mean, it's it's say? it's still a disease that's that's very prevalent, not only in, you know in other countries and continents like in Africa, but it's still I mean it's still a problem here, especially in New York City. Yeah. And though there are drugs out there, you know, retroactive drugs that can help support the disease. I mean, it's help suppress the disease and support the immune system. Sorry, <laughs> um, there's still a long way to go. I mean, until AIDS is completely or HIV and AIDS is completely eradicated, it's it's still going to be a problem, and it's still going to affect millions and millions of people. So. Yes. Yes. Are you going to be walking on Sunday? Unfortunately, no. Okay. I will be there in spirit, believe me, but unfortunately I can't. I have to you can still support us. <laughs> no, absolutely. and you are supporting us by being here tonight. So. <laughs> well, no, absolutely. Um, so, all right, sad news. One life to live. It's another soap that's gone. Um, you know, you played the son of a major family now on two shows, As the World Turns. You played Riley Adam. Yes. Um, now Joey Buchanan on, on One Life to Live. What is that like for you to come into a role being the son of a major family on both of these shows? Um, <laughs> a little daunting. Um, Do you feel pressure? Absolutely. Yeah. A, a ton of it. Um, but fortunately on both shows, uh, I mean, Ellen Dolan and As the World Turns and um, Erica Slezak on One Life immediately put a lot of those nerves to rest. How did they? But how did they help you with that? How did they put those nerves to rest? By being just amazing. Uh, by by being so friendly and so welcoming and and sort of showing me the ropes and guiding me. I mean, when you get to work with two fantastic actresses like themselves, I mean, you can learn so much from them. and They can really elevate your game. And then on top of that, they're just fantastic people. I mean, amazing at their craft, but just overall warm-hearted, good nature, just lovable, lovable people. So. It's been fun. I've really enjoyed you with both roles. Um, you know, you bring a sweetness to to these roles. To Joey, you have this like sweetness that's part of it. Have you been told that by people other than me? <laughs> a little bit. Every once yeah. in a while, yeah. 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 Where were you when you got the news about One Life being canceled? I got the news. I was actually down in, in New Jersey visiting my mom for the weekend. Uh, but that Thursday, I was going to stay for a little while. And um, Josh Kelly, uh, a great buddy of mine, uh, shot me a text. We were out having lunch. And he just told me, he's like, we just had a meeting and we're going to be off the air. And it was a huge shock. I mean, I couldn't even tell you, you know, what I was, you know, what the conversation was or anything I was having with my mom at the time, but I just remember having that sinking feeling like, you know, your stomach just drops completely. And, um, it was a huge shock, and then you know, coming into work the next day, it was. Yeah. What was the mood? Do, if I have to ask. Yeah, I was right. gonna say I don't even think he had to ask. It was very, very, very solemn, very. Do you, sad. Does it seem like this is bringing people together? Are they comforting each other, supporting each other? On the show? The, yeah, the actors through this process of. Oh yes, absolutely. I think yeah. um, they they really are, and 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 also I mean that the fan support has been incredible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, you know they they are. I mean, talking to Cassie and Depaiva and yeah. Nick Slezak and Josh, you know, it's they have come together. And it's I think the, the greatest thing about both As the World Turns and One Life to Live is that they're they're filled with such fantastic actors and people that it really is a family type atmosphere. Yeah. And we get along really well on set, and, and I think that helps when when news like this is dealt to you. It sort of helps a lot that those relationships are there. So after January, what's next for you? What are we going to see you do a year from now? You know, I'm I'm not entirely 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, my mom used to always say, you know, if you ever want to make God laugh, tell him what you're going to do in a week because plans can change so in a true. dime. So, so try not. To, I mean, obviously, looking looking ahead and trying to figure out what the next step's going to be. But yeah. at the same time, I'm trying to enjoy as much as I can right now on this show yeah. and have as much fun as I can. If you weren't acting, what would you want to do? If I wasn't acting, what would I do? What would you do? Uh, one of two things. Uh, a lawyer, uh -huh. um, just because something about the law has always piqued my interest. Um, and if not, uh, probably helping with a charitable organization. You know, I've always been interested in, in helping with um, with Easter Seals and the Special Olympics. Wow, that's wonderful. Um, yeah, I used to, when I, was a, when I was a young kid, when I was a young pup, I used to uh, be a counselor at this camp. And I remember um, sort of taught swimming and, and 
had a little bit of experience special needs kids and it's it's it, it's really wonderful to give back and to help somebody and to truly really watch them learn and, and it's it's a great feeling awesome yeah. awesome Tom I know you're gonna do well with whatever you choose to do thank seriously you, so you have a lot of spirit it. and you bring integrity to your work and I think that shows so thank you. I appreciate it all right Damon L Jacobs here at love out loud with Maximilian Tapper from one life to live how are you I'm great Damon thank you for I'm having so, me I'm so <laughs> glad to have you at this event well I'm, I'm happy to be here this is a really good time I know I know so so we're here tonight raising money for the AIDS walk and why is this cause important for you well I know people that are affected by AIDS. Yeah. I know families that have been affected by AIDS. I know friends, clients that I had that have been affected by it. So it's just something that's very important to me. Other than me just being an actor, I've also been uh, into the health and, and fitness field for a long time. So anything that's regarding people's health is very important. And if I can come out here in any way and, and help, it's something that I would love to do. That's great. So aside being an actor, as you mentioned, you're a fitness expert. How did, what, do you still continue to have a practice as you're working? Um, I still do. I, I, I have clients that I've worked with for years. Yeah. And those type of people are hard to let go. I've traveled with some. So uh, it's, it's something that's actually deeply ingrained in me. Like I, I love fitness. I love health. I love getting people in shape. So aside from acting, I'm always going to be involved in that in some way. Whether it's going to be a fitness fitness DVD, uh, collection of fitness clothing, whatever it is, it's always going to be something that I'm still going to push in fitness. That's amazing. That's amazing. So, so if what would you tell a 40-year-old who hates vegetables about fitness? Like me. Well, there are vegetables that you will like. <laughs> I can find a vegetable that you will like, and I can always find a substitute. <laughs> And there's always well, I like French fries, so that's a bad, you know. Yeah, well, we'll get baked ones for you. What about the baked version? Yeah, maybe. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, One Life to Live, you, you've been part of this cast, and then, you know, of course, the cancellation came down. What was it like for you to, to be part of this, um, you know, ensemble that's been around for 43 years almost? Um, what was it like for you to, to be there for all this? Well, honestly, it was... It was an amazing thing just to be on the show, to get to work with a lot of these actors that I've seen for so long, that my parents have are in love with, you know, so every time I'm coming home, they're like, oh, you just get a picture with so-and-so? You know, so it was really amazing to, to work with these actors and then to find out that they were all so nice and so, so supportive was even better. Everyone, I'm talking about from production down, everybody, actors, everything. So then to find out that uh, the show was canceled was a little heartbreaking because it was turning out to be something more like a family. You know, like when I go to work, I'm happy to be there. It's not, I'm going to work and I'm at work. I'm at work and I'm enjoying myself around a lot of good people. So just thinking that you may not always get to see these people again is the hardest part to deal with, you know? And then again, you know, then there's also the fans out there who have grown up on these shows and have a lot of time invested in the characters and love them. You know, so <laughs> it's a small death to some. It's been a hard time. Yes, it's been a hard yes. time. As we've seen with a lot of actors, though, on other shows, it often leads to new creative efforts and new creative projects. If people want to learn about your services and may want to check out some of your fitness tips, how would they do that? Well, you can always contact me at max www.maxtapper.com. Maxtapper.com. That's M A X T A P P E R. Okay. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Max Tapper. Okay. You can find me on Facebook, which is just Max Tapper. And you can also find my blog, which is the Max Tapper blog at blogspot.com. So you're accessible. People can learn. Very, very. I'm everywhere. Just everywhere. Google me, you'll find me. Just Google me somehow, you'll find me. Is there anything you can preview for us about what's coming up this summer on One Life? No. I wish I could. I tried. All I right. wish I could. I wish I could, but I can't. I tried. All right. Max, it's so nice to talk to you. I hope we get.